Are you ready to get spooky with me? You want to get into all the creepy chills down your back type of stuff? Well, this is the project. We're going to update Paranormal Pantivity. Before we get started with the spooky, I'm going to ask you to please do all of the things. You know what they are. Now, this project was created by Andrea, who is pretty as a peacock here on YouTube, and she is. She does the most amazing eye look. She works with color so well, but she's more than a pretty face. She put together this great project for us and came up with this whole list of all these spooky, otherworldly type of prompts and then gave us the definitions of all of them because there's a lot of things in here I've never heard of and I'm old, so you'd think I'd know most of this. But um, she gave us definitions and then gave us an idea of what to use for each prompt. She gave us a little guideline too. And she decided to start this on National Ghost Hunting Day, which is September 24th of this year. So this will run until September 24th of next year, 2023, just in case, in case you're watching this late, you never know. Um, she did this in collab with the Fantastic Ladies Group. And she is allowing us to update either monthly or bi-monthly. We're using the social media hashtag ParanormalPantivityPP. Lots of P's in that one. We're supposed to um, either start with six, roll all of them in at once, do it roulette style, pick and choose. She kind of left that part a little bit open-ended, but at least suggested that if we were going to start with a specific number instead of all, to do six. I think that is what I did. No, I didn't. I lied. I have a bonus. I forgot about that. But what I did start with was Poltergeist, a product that gives you trouble. So it's either hard to use, has ridiculous packaging. And that is this Mary Kay Rare Jewels collection. And I'm not going to close this. And I keep it like this so it's still not even latched in my makeup caddy in my bathroom because... I can't get this thing to open when I close it. It takes me forever and it actually hurts my fingers. You've seen me do this in past videos if you've watched them. And the one thing that I never remember to tell anybody, I'm so bad at this. This is the reason I tell you guys to do all of the things is because I don't remember to tell you things. I actually create playlists that you can find for all of the projects that I do. So if you ever do want to go back and like if you've missed something and want to watch it from the beginning, it's in there under playlists. So you can find that stuff at any time and you will have seen me then fight with this thing on camera because I actually closed it like a dork. But um, my goal on this one was to use each of these shades five times. And that's supposed to be a blush. Well, let me tell you, I probably shouldn't uh, be doing that as a blush anymore because it got a little out of control. It is definitely not my shade. And I know this because I actually have used it once. So we're going to start with the tan shade, and that's Diamond Dust. I'm going to put that on there. And then we have Elegant Emerald. And now part of this is that this thing is super old, so it does look a touch patchy on my hand. Um, it's a little powdery for the eyes, but it's not horrible. I mean, I've been able to work with it. That stunning shade is Sparkling Sapphire, and it is, you can barely see it, but it is part of my look today. Yeah, these things swatch super patchy, and that's Operator Error. Well, no, they're old, too. They're really, really old. And this one is Alluring Amethyst. Okay, yeah, that one you can't even see. It does take a lot of work to build these, and quite frankly, this is something that probably won't stay in my collection too terribly long, it was old when I got it. I had just never had it back in the day, and Mom had one of these. I love the colors, and so I took it. Figure, as long as it doesn't give me a reaction, and it's a straight powder product, so even if it is expired, I've never had a bad reaction from old Mary Kay stuff. Um, eyeshadows. Let's make that clear. Okay. That's the blush rare ruby. So anyway, since I've never had a reaction, I figured that I was probably pretty safe to try this, even though it is an older thing, and figured that if it didn't work out, I literally would have to throw it away. I mean, what else are you going to do at this point with it? It's not like I could pass it along or anything like that. So, all right. So do you see this, this craziness here? 
I actually, knowing that these are so powdery and dusty and light, I went in really heavy handed and put it on. And all of a sudden I had Bozo the Clown face. It was like, oh, okay, let's try and tone that down. But you know what this will make is a really nice eyeshadow. If I go light handed and blend it, it'll be really pretty. So I have used the diamond dust one that you can barely see once. Elegant Emerald is once. The Sparkling Sapphire is once. Alluring Amethyst is twice because you know I can't get away from my purples. You know I love them. And then the uh, Ruby, Rare Ruby I used once as a blush and we're going to switch that up with some of my other uses because... I mean, you can see my cheekbones. My face isn't too terribly fat. I'm getting jowls, though. I'm getting old. Um, but yeah, I did not need that much accent. I, it was extreme. So this is staying in because we still have more uses. I don't know why I'm rambling, but this is going to be another one of those videos. Hopefully you grabbed your beverage because the crazy train is going to be taking a scenic journey. All right. Um, number two in the project is Doppelganger. It's a product that you have a double or a backup of. And so for that, I went with an old Mary Kay blush. It did not have pan when we started this project. If you've been following along, you'll see that I have hit pan. I think I maybe even have expanded it now. And I have three, three of these. I really do love this blush a lot. So I decided that I'm going to put this one into finish. And I think I can do it. It's going to take me a while, but I can do it. And it's always good to finish a full blush because those are hard to do. These aren't necessarily, but in general, they are. Um, all right. Wow, I told you. Rambling. When I brought this in, it was 11.6 grams, and I had popped it out of the compact because these are all, you make your own type of thing. But I happened to have one, so I threw it in so I could carry it back and forth when I traveled. So it was 11.6. October, I have it as 11.1. I apparently just didn't bother doing anything with weights in November, and now it's down to 10.9. So I am using it. We're getting used. That's a good thing. I was tracking how much I have used it, but I didn't separate by month. So it looks like uh, 22 uses that I've at least remembered to write down on that since I put it into the project. So I'm trying to keep track. And I figure even if I don't do it month by month, at least if I have a running total, I kind of know. At least sort of, somewhat within a fairly decent range. Anyway, let's go on to number 13, which is ectoplasm. So for that, it is a face mask. I don't mask like normal people do because it destroys my skin. Um, so I brought in a bunch of sheet masks. And I did use the Tony Moly Pore Care Red, I'm Red Wine Mask in since the last update. Get the words out. All the way out of the mouth so that you can hear what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know what, it, Pore Care, but I don't know that it did anything. It felt nice. Um, I don't know. If you like sheet masks, it's a nice one. I don't, I don't even know what it was really supposed to do. So I have you that one I used this last month. I had used three of them the month before. And that means I'm down to my last two. Now, this one I don't think is a sheet. I think this is a cream in here, but I haven't gotten to the little Tony Moly Pig one yet, so I don't know. That's a Golden Pig Collagen Bounce Mask. I don't know what that means either. And then this one is a vitamin C, yes, energizing face mask. So I'm thinking that this one might be better to use in the morning. I like doing sheet masks at night, and I do have a couple left. I think there's two or three that are old elf ones that you do before you do your makeup. And that's the part that I'm horrible with. I need to do this on a day where I'm like cleaning the house or doing something. So I put it on in the morning. It doesn't matter. And then I'm just putzing around because if I try and do this before I do makeup, if I have to be somewhere, never works. So we only have two more before I can roll that prompt out was the point of that ramble. And then necromancy a product you haven't used in a long time i had to declutter the original item so i brought in the lancome genifique this is the light pearl advanced genifique you light pearl constant it's the i1 i don't know what the heck the words are when they put half of it in french i can't always tell and i can't see anyway but it's got that metal ball wand so it's that cooling effect and it's a nice serum it's got a little bit of a 
It's not a watery one. It's a, it's not thick and goopy, but when you put it on and then you use your finger and kind of, you know, massage it in, you can feel it. It feels nice and it does feel moisturizing. I don't know that it's getting anything done with the creepy, wrinkly Crypt Keeper look, but it's not hurting anything. And I do need the moisture. So I put that in for 60 uses. When I brought it in, it was 88.0 grams. It is now down, no, yes, it is now down to 85.5 grams. And that is with a grand total of 37 uses. Um, I have used it 14 additional times this month to get to that 37. Okay, then we have Afterlife. A product past its expiration date, and I brought in the MAC varnish. I think this is down here. I'm not sure, but it looks like there's a line there. And no matter what light I put it in front of, I can't really tell. And I threw this in for 30 uses just simply to um, try and get use out of it before it goes bad. This is the one that has the brush tip that I'm the only one in the world that likes. And I do like it. I like the gloss. I like the brush tip. I like the thickness of it. And I'm the one who hates glosses. So I do like this. But I've only used it five times in the last month. So I am at a grand total of 21 uses, which brings it down from the start weight of 17.6 grams to 17.2 grams now. Wow. See, it's a lot of uses with lip gloss to get to the bottom. That's why I don't put lip glosses into finish. It'll take me 100 years. They'll go bad before I finish them. I, that's just a lot of usage. It's just me. All right, number 28 is Revenant, an item that has come back into your collection, so something you've repurchased. And I brought in the It Tightline, and I brought this in because I hadn't actually had it in a few years, but I missed it. I loved it, and I had an opportunity to pick it up, so I did. It's got that itty-bitty baby wand, and it is not a rubber wand. It is a bristle wand. It's just so itty bitty tiny and it's not super long I think you can kind of tell how it just goes to there um so this is the bottom lashes I do use the Lancome Sills Booster and I can use that on the bottom lashes too and then I'll use this over it a lot of times sometimes I'll just use this depends on how lazy I am anyway this um I got eight more uses on it this month. Now, just to make clear what the plan is, this is rolling out because I am going to be at the three, I'm at the, I started in September, mid-September. So we're at the deadline for that. I'm rolling everything that I do for eyelash products out at the end of December. And I will start over fresh January 1st with like mascara and primer. And I did get another one of these. So I have another tight line to bring to, to start using again, which means that I am counting uses on this, but I will continue to use this until the end of the month. And I'm actually pre-filming pre -filming today as I was with some of the other videos that you've seen recently because my family is in town and they're not gonna, gonna be leaving until the day this goes live. And I can't really film with them here. I don't have enough space. I don't know if I've mentioned that in videos or not before, but just to be completely transparent. So what I do is I keep this with me. I use it and I have totaled my uses on my card. And then I'll put extra ones down at the bottom. So I got eight more uses this month. We've got a total of 42 in the project completely. And I'll just tell you at the next update, I keep I keep this card in so that I know to tell you. But then the card that I actually originally wrote it out on and I keep the weights on is the one that gets marked as done also and gets pulled out of the prompt list. So this went from an originally an original 12.4 grams in weight. It was 20. No, it wasn't. It was 12.3 in October, not 21. 12.3 and now after my 42 uses I'm at 12.1 now there's only 3.5 milliliters of product in that so I've still got some usage on it it probably will not be completely empty but I'm hitting that mark where I need to cut things off and I would prefer to bring in the new one January 1st because then I can do a four month and I can track it because I don't wear mascara a lot I should be able to do four months and it shouldn't 
be at risk for any more bacteria than a normal would be. Everybody got all that? So that is what is going on with that. And I will then give you a total number of uses before it went into the empties when I give you next month's update. Wow. Okay. The last thing that I did was honestly a mistake. I thought it was on the list. And so I grabbed it and then I was looking for the list so I could write it out on my card and realize it wasn't on there. So I brought in Phantom and I brought it in because I have got the Luxie eyeshadow single in Phantom. And um, I put it in for nine uses. I've got one more use on it, so I'm only at four. So it's going to stay in the project. But Andrea does know that I did this and she actually, and I, I apologize because I didn't mean to just start random. I randomly add stuff anyway. But she said that she would then consider it if she does this again, which I hope she does because I'm all in. If she's got more spooky creatures and things, I'm all over it. I'd even do it again with the same prompts and just new products. I love this project. But I brought in Phantom. That is Phantom. And you're getting, yeah, so you can tell that it's got some shimmer and a little bit of shift and it's, God, I think it's a purple with a black basis of what I think it is, and that's why it gives that effect. But I like it. Of course I do. It's purple and it's shiny. I swear, you know, if you just ever want to distract me, just point to like purple eyeshadows or purple singles that are shiny and pretty, and you'll lose me. I'll be I'll be gone. So that is remaining in the project because I can. And because I haven't gotten use on it. I've been lazy. But because I am finishing up with the tight line, I'm counting that as a rollout and I'm going to bring in a new product for us to play with. Now, I will be right back because I actually want to clarify something. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I forgot to grab this. I'm going to bring in, I don't know why I'm looking, it's a Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen, but I weighed this one, it's um, 26.6 grams right now. This is another one, another one of the 1.7 ounce. I have not had this in that those white toothpaste tubes, you know, like Misty uses. I have those too. And honestly, with the damage, they, they do help a lot. This is the one that was here. This is the one I brought from Minnesota that I had in the other project and, have, you know, finished off. So I just wanted to clarify that it's not the same thing that I've already had in. This was a different one. This was the one. I brought that from Minnesota. This one was here. And I need to get both of them gone. And I have because this is, I'm gonna put it in the squeezy tube, but this is pretty well down there. I mean, there's an air bubble in here. Yeah, there's, oh wow. Okay, there we go. There's nothing left. No, there is some left, but it is way down there. So I have no idea how long this is gonna last. And like I said, I'll put it in the tube and squeeze it because that gets everything that gets stuck up on the sides all the way down and I actually can use it then. So that is coming in for Banshee. Could have told you the stupid, oh. Okay, I could have told you the prompt, but apparently I was having a stupid moment and forgot because I got so excited about proving that that one wasn't the same one. The prompt is Banshee, a product you are close to finishing. Yeah, well, all right then. Before I do anything else dumb, I'm going to just go ahead and close this one out. That is actually all I have. That is everything. That's where we're at. I hope you enjoyed it. It started well. It did. Aside from the rambling, it started well. But, yeah, I got nothing. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for spending your time with me. And until next time, everybody, see ya. Bye.